speak to me today. Just let the Lord speak to me today. I have come that I can hear from you. I have come that I can understand what you have for me today. I have come that I can be blessed. I have come that I can be encouraged. I have come, Lord, that God, you can teach me. Holy Spirit, we pray that you will teach us today. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will speak to us today. That you will touch our hearts today. That indeed, our lives will not remain the same. That as we've come here this morning, this day, it is not in vain that we have been, we've come in the house of God. It is not in vain that we are here today. And dear Father, I pray that each and every person who is in this house today, Lord, you will speak to them. You will speak to them in a way that they'll be able to understand. You will speak to them, the Lord, they will be inspired. You will speak to them in a way that, God, they will see you love and they will know how much you love them, how much you care for them, and how much you have in store for them. And how they will desire and desire. They will have the zeal and they will desire to know you, to know what you can do. Thank you, Father, because God, you are speaking to our hearts today. Thank you, Lord, because you are ministering to us today. And Lord, I surrender myself to be a vessel of honor that God, you will use me to pass your message to your people for the glory and for the honor of your name. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, our help, our friend. Help us today. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. Yes. Right. Well, I'm very happy, by the way. I'm very excited. And I thank God for what he has done today. And I was, as I was saying, Jana wakati nilipambu wa ntakuja kudumu, na nitaungia kwa kiswahili nitachanganya ndio kila mtu tupate kuwa pamoja nilipangwa jana nitakuja kuhudumu i really thought i prayed and you know like i've been recently i've been reading a lot about things on wholehearted living things on courage and it's so easy when someone tells you that you are going to speak, let me just go and share what I have been learning. But maybe that has been mine. What does God want his people to hear? Mungu anataka watu wake wasikie nini leo? And previously, even last Sunday, we've been, we've been taught, or the teaching has been on uh, how to handle opposition, the story of Nehemiah, and we have been learning a lot of things. Now, today, I want us to talk about something that we know, something that we've experienced. If not all of, if I mean all of us have experienced, and something that we've even since we were young, or when you got born again, you got to hear about it. And my message today is the love of God. I want us to talk about the love of God. I'm a upendo wa mungu. Upendo wa mungu. That is what I want us to, to, to learn about or to hear. Because God has loved us so much. And uh, the Bible says in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16 it says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And sometimes we think about this very common verse. It's a memory verse that everyone will recite any day. Yakoba mungu wakaupenda ulimwengu sana. Ama wakapenda mwanadamu sana. Akamtoa mwanawake wapeke. Akufe, Mr. Labani, ndiyo sisi tupede nini? Uzima wa milele. And when you think about the love of God, the love of God is deep, deep, wide. Kuna yu mbuni mbanga tupa Sunday school. 
yani wide deep and long sina una deep wide and yeah it's so deep it's so wide it's so long yani haina mwisho and i want us to base our 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 learning from the book of psalms chapter 1 or 3 let us just go to psalms chapter 1 or 3 and zaburi zaburi mlango wa 103 mstari wa kwanza tukishuka chini and the bible says this is a psalm of david and uh, the bible says that bless the lord o oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name verse number 2 inasema bless the lord o oh my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all my iniquity who heals all your diseases who redeems your life from pits who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy who satisfies satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagle the lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed he made known his ways to moses is act to the people of israel the lord is merciful and gracious slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love he will not always chide nor will he keep his anger forever he does not deal with us according to our sins a very powerful verse nor repay us according to our iniquities so as high as the heavens are above the earth so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him as far as the east is from the west so far does the, does he remove our transgressions from us number 13 it says as a father shows compassion to his children so the lord shows compassion to those who fear him he knows our frame he remembers that we are dust and i can read the whole of that chapter actually let me just read because it is very sweet the word of god is very sweet as for man his days are like grass He flourishes like a flower of the field for the wind passes over it and it is gone and its place knows it no more but the steadfast love of God is for from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him is righteousness to children's children to those who remember his covenant and remember to do his commandments the lord has established his throne in heaven and the kingdom rules over all bless the lord all his angels you mighty ones who do his word obeying the word the voice of his word bless the lord all his host his ministers who do his will when we go through this um, chapter the whole of the chapter it talks about the love of god and when we look at the nature of god even from the verses yeah when you look at the nature of god even from the verses god is not only love in terms of his attributes but the nature of god is love and yani god is love himself Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka tuelewe nataka tuende pamoja. God is love himself. And uh, if someone loves me, if someone mtu akinipenda, I know all of you love me. Si ndio? Ninyi wote mnanipenda hapa. And I can say right now even as I plan for maybe a wedding, every one of you here, those who love me, they just want the best for me. Desire ni kwenda siku nzuri even you pray you tell god oh 
God help faith as yeah, we want the best for her. We sit here to Nongea and everyone is like, what can we do to make the day better? And just because God loves you so much, God wants the best for you. The same way when you love your child, you want them to go to school, you want to see them succeed, you want to see them like doing well in life. Akuna mzazi anasikia vibaya mtoto wake, anasikia vizuri mtoto wake akiendelea vibaya. Mzazi anataka because this is my child. This is a child that I love so much. I just want them to I just want the best for them. Let the that good nature with us. And you're going to see a number of verses. You're going to go through the Bible and see how much God loves you. And the moment you realize how much God loves you, you even walk with confidence. Eh? So you know, it doesn't matter what my friend will think about me. It doesn't, it doesn't matter maybe how I don't feel, how, how competent I feel I'm not enough. But God loves me the way I am. Because he has just made me the way I am. Mungu wa menimba tu venye mimi niko. Na nanipenda hivo. Venye mungu anakupenda hivo. God knows all your weaknesses. God knows all your strength. God knows even all your sins. But he still loves you the way you are. Amen? 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 And that is the love of God. And God's love is very personal. Very personal. And God has the best interest of you in his heart. And that is, and you look, I'm just trying to, I don't know how, I don't know whether you are feeling how I'm feeling. And I want to, I want to, I want you people to enter in that mood. More than how much, and you just, as I, even as I speak, just think through. And you know, really Mimi, Mimi Faith, eh? Mimi Cynthia. This is how much God loves me. God knows what I need. God knows what I want. God knows what I did. But he still loves me the way I am. Amen? And God, as you've seen in, the, in, the, in this book of Psalms, chapter 103, verse 2, it says that, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not all his benefits. Because God loves you this much, he wants to give you good gifts and provide for you all his benefits. The benefits of God are so many. The benefits of God come with good life. The benefits of God come with even when we pass through through the shadow of darkness, even when we, when we pass through the shadow of death, I will be with you. That even when I'm going through a trouble, even when I'm going through a challenge, God is still with me. And his will is to, to lift you up. When you are broken, when your heart is broken and you don't know what does the future have for me, God has the best plans for you. In the book of Jeremiah tells me, for I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to give you good health. A good, is it good health? Long life, prosperity, name it. And to give you a future and a hope. Yani the plan of God is to give us a future and hope. That we who belong to God are not people who are going to be heartbroken. We are not people who are going to to put you to give them a what what will what will what will life give me? But the plan of God is to give us the best. Yani mungu anataka kutupia ile ni mzuri kabisa. That is the love of God. Amen. And we have so much benefit when it comes to the love of God. Yani, mapensi ya mungu, ama upendo wa baba, unakuta na mauzuri, benefits, mingi sana. When we look at the spiritual gifts, verse 12, imituambia kwamba, As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. Spiritually, we are forgiven. Amen? We are what? And for the forgiveness of sin, it means that God has removed every barrier. Amen? Through the death of his son in the cross, God has removed every barrier that we can confidently go before God as our father and tell, tell him, Father, this is what I need. 
need from you. Father, this is what I'm going through. I need you to redeem me from this situation. And the removal of the barrier that separates us from him by canceling the debt of our sin so that we can enjoy a loving relationship with him. And God loves, forgives our sins as though they never existed. That I have removed your transgressions as far as the east is from the west. And the way you did, the way, the way maybe your sins were very dark, or they were very dirty, God has cleaned you. And I'm a kuosha kabisa. That we will not suffer kabisa. Amen? Amen? Another benefit of God's love is emotionally. And uh, I was saying, when I know how much God loves me, I will walk with a lot of confidence because I know I am not alone. Even when I lack, I know I have a Father who will provide for me. Even when I am not able to maybe speak, I know I have strength through Christ. Even when I think that I feel like things are not working my way, I know God has the best. So even if things don't go my way, I know God has the best for me in heart. Amen? Because he is a father. Amen? And you are emotionally happy when you know God loves you. Amen? Sometimes it can get to a point and you feel like no one anakuelewa. Even the people that you trust most, unapata they are far from you. The people that you really thought you, I can count on this one, those people they disappoint you. Maybe you, you had a lot of faith in your husband, and now your husband it, it is in a place that he cannot help you. You had a lot of faith in you. You thought my my wife loves, loves me so much, but at that time, because your wife are gonna limit, are gonna limitations. At that time, they cannot come through for you. You can find yourself in a very dark place where only God. And when you're in that place, you should always remember the love of God. Amen? You should always do what? Remember the love of God. And another benefit that comes with the, 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 the love of God is an eternal gift. Whereby in verse 4, we have seen who redeems your life from the pits, Who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. In that pit, God will rescue you. God will, will grant you mercy and love. Amen? And when you go to the book of Re 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 Revelation chapter 1, I want us to read the book of Revelation chapter 1. The love of God is in every book you will find, you will see, in every story of the Bible, you will see the love of God. So when you open the book of, of Revelation chapter 1, uh, verse 6, I can start from verse 5, Revelation 1 chapter 5 and 6, it says, And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of kings in, on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins through his blood. He has made us a kingdom, priests to his God and Father. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Verse 6 in Asema, and made us a kingdom. We, we reign or we are, we are in a place whereby we've been crowned with royal glory and authority on us. The couple are just not mere human beings, but we have the glory, the loyalty of God. We are a kingdom. We are a kingdom. We are a kingdom. We are priests. That is how much God, Jesus did for us after he died and he resurrected and through his blood. He freed us from our sins and he made us a kingdom. Priest to his God, the Father. And you can only glorify God because of what he has done. You know, Mimi, I belong to a kingdom. I am a daughter of a kingdom. The kingdom of my Father who loved me this much. Amen? As we learn about the 
love of God. I want us to change our mentalities. Nataka to to badilishe the way we think. Sometimes when you when you grow in the church, you know uh, you are you are told humility which is very good. You are told how obedience which is very good. And uh mara nyingi even myself at some point I used to think of God as um as a deity una ile yani unaogopa you cannot just say anything wewe tu ampweze na mbele za Mungu tu useme chochote you know you are like you have a limitation of what should i say you are fearful because you know God sits in a throne but the moment you realize God and you know him as your father eh unamjua kama baba yako and you know he is all powerful and you can imagine the daughter of our president the says if we see if ruto enters in this this house sisi wale tutakuwa tunasimama si ndio but msana wake al daddy you see there is one when you are like sisi we will me not even get close to him but the daughter because he, this is my father so he will be like daddy that's why at some point that una still or or like say they are not able to differentiate between the father and the president because that is you've known him as your father and he is a father to us amen amen and in terms of physically god the gift the love of god will give us the gift of strength and endurance that at our kati mambo ni magumu you will endure knowing my end is not my beginning amen ama the future is luminous and as we say there's there is light at the end of the tunnel because tunnel because you know that god is with me so whenever, whenever no matter how difficult things may look like right now i know the future because i'm loved by my father it might be difficult today it might be very hard today but tomorrow will be better because i have my father who loves me and who cares for me and who has the best the best he needs me amen and and look at jesus i think when even we look at the process of how jesus was crucified died uh, because of the love of god he could endure all that and you want to talk about yangu bado na nijali even when he, he cried to his father akisema niondole if it is in your will remove this cup from me like away from me he knew like jesus knew father was very powerful but, but god's will was for us to experience to experience his love amen and when you see i just want to go back to psalms 103 again because that is where i based my entire message on when you look at verse number 6 it says the lord works righteousness and justice for all those who are oppressed But if today you feel there's something that has been oppressing you the love of God can set you free from that oppression and uh, as I continue with what we are learning today even from the verses we can say that the love of God is all consuming it touches every part of my life be it spiritually be it emotionally be it socially be even financially the love of god that is all aspect of my life and there is nothing there is at this nothing that can separate us from the love of god amen and we will see a verse that talks about that romans chapter 8 verse 32 verse 35 sorry romans chapter 8 Romans chapter 8 verse 35 Inasema ya kwamba Who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword And the truth is there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God no be it a circumstance be it an adversity be it a problem hakuna kitu tunaweza fanya kama mtu mwingine anaweza fanya 
itutoe katika upendo wa Mungu Baba. Amen. There is nothing that can separate you from the love of God. And that is how much God loves you. And we said that the love of God will bleed in every fabric, any every part of you, be it your hair, be it your nails, be it your hand. The love of God touches every part of you. And it is upon us as the church to jitoe, to jitoe kopende, and to jitole, so that we can experience the love of God. Because I feel like we can limit ourselves. And that's why Nasema, today as we learn about this love of God, we should change our perception. We should change the way we see. Tunawananga, nikama, nikama naogopa, nikama I'm not confident. Because we should be very confident when we know that we tell Jesus that God loves us. Amen? Amen? And we should not limit ourselves by either fear, by not knowing, because again, people perish because of lack of knowledge. We should not, we should not limit ourselves because of what we've known, or what we've kept in our mind, or what we've thought. Amen? Amen. I'm just reminded, when we had our youth Kesha Hapa church, we, we, this brother, Baba Sadiomba, and we were very happy. Actually, what I'm talking about, Kicheka, everyone was very happy that morning. And uh, maybe some of us felt like this is not the way, you know, we should pray, or this is not the way we should talk to God, or maybe this is not the way that maybe Mungu wa Japanese wa Kasirisha. But that, that morning I was reminded how oh, God loves the authentic us. Just the way, like, right now I'm talking, that is how much God loves me. I don't have to preach like Pastor Karanja, and Pastor Karanja, thank you, respect you so much, I'm just using you as an example. I don't have to preach like Cynthia, or any other person sitting here. God wants me just to be the way I'm in Yumba. Amen? So you walk with confidence, you don't have to compare yourself with any other person. And you have the faith, the trust, the courage that indeed I'm loved of God. And I can conquer the world because God loves me. Amen? Amen? Yes. So we've seen that nothing can separate us from the love of God. From the book of Romans chapter 8, verse number 35. And there is no problem that we can encounter that cannot be touched by his love. No problem that you can ever encounter that the love of God cannot touch it. Touch it. There is no advancement that we will make where God is not already there. Now there is a song, but I think I've forgotten it. When you don't move the mountain, that I'm, I'm needing you to move. When, when you don't cause the waters to separate, I will still trust in you. It's a very powerful song and I won't get to it. I, I trust in you. And because even God can see our future. So today, if, 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 if it happens next year, to maybe you will be in another place. God is, the love of God has already been there. So even if you don't know what the future holds, you can trust God that indeed you hold my future. And in your due time, you will make me be where you want me to be. Amen? Because that is the love of God. And that's why we can say, even when our world falls apart, many times as Christians, although when we talk about the love of God, maybe we may think, but why is it that my life is not perfect? But why is it that I'm not experiencing? Why is it that I don't have all these good things? But even at that moment, you can say, God, I don't know why this is happening. I don't understand it, but I can trust. I'm glad, and I am, I am happy and glad because I know you love me. Amen? And let us allow ourselves to be consumed by his love. Amen? Amen? And I want us to read from the book of First John. First John chapter 4, verse 7 to 12. In a same TV, beloved, let us love one another. The love is from God, and whoever loves has been 
born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. In this, the love of God was made manifest among, among us that God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. And I'm going to repeat verse 9. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us that God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this, is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation of our sins. Beloved, if God loves, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. And verse 12 says, no one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him, and in he in us, because he has given us his spirit. Amen? And um, when God, like, I think there's, there's so many verses in the Bible that can really talk about the intensity of God's love. But uh, we as Christians, we can look at the cross. Anytime we look at the cross, we see the love of God. And today I want us to reflect on the cross and the work of the cross that was done at Calvary. That God was so intentional. You know, God is so intentional. When you love someone, you, you, you get so intentional about them. See you? And uh, when, when you love when you love your child, when you love your friend, you'll remember their birthday, you'll remember their maybe special occasion, you'll remember their anniversaries, you will remember so much because you have to be love is very intentional. Actually that one has just come to me right now and I had not really thought of that, but love gets so intentional. When God says I love you, what it means is you matter to me. You are a person of worth. It doesn't matter what people see you. It doesn't matter what people say about you. But to me, you are valuable. Regardless of what others see in you, you are wonderful. That is what God is saying when He says, I love you. And the love of God, as we've seen in the book of 1 John chapter 4, it requires us to love one another. Amen? The love of God, to him to Penda, we should always extend this love to one another. And that's why even the people in Atwambea Kamba who shall know them, those who are born again, what are you and Matunda? Yeah. Because again, when we say we love God or God has loved us and you don't love your neighbor, the love of God is not in you. Amen. And the love of God is beyond comprehension. Thank you for coming my coffee. That is very encouraging. Please clap for me. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. The love of God is beyond comprehension. When I am a sinner, you will forgive me. When I am sick, God will heal me. When I am in a pit, you will come and you will pull me out of that pit. Even when I am very ungrateful of what he has done, God will still do. Yeah? My ungratefulness will not limit him from blessing me. I may not say thank you after waking up in the morning, but the, the following day he will still wake me up. Maybe when I have done something very wrong and I deserve justice, God will show me mercy. That is why we are saying the love of God is beyond comprehension. And when we look at the story of the prodigal son, that is the story when we talk about the love of God, we cannot, we cannot talk about the love of God without mentioning the story of the prodigal son. From the book of John chapter 15, maybe you can just look at it. I'm about to wind up, but let us look at that. John chapter 15, quickly. John chapter 15. Verse 13. I 
inasema ya kwamba greater okay this is my commandment that you love one another as i have loved you greater love has no one than this that somebody lay down his life for his friends you are my friends if you do what i command you actually this is not the story of the prodigal son but this is jesus saying there is no greater love than me dying for my friend and he even calls us friends friends but again when we look at the, the, the life of the prodigal son we see how much like imagine you have taken away your possessions from your father you may end up in a rib you have wasted your life but the day you come back your father will embrace you welcome back my son and he gives you the best that is how much our father loves us and maybe you are here and you are feel you are feeling like whatever i have done this week or the things that i have gone through this week i truly don't deserve the love of god god is saying to you my child i still love you it doesn't matter what you have gone through it doesn't matter what you have done my love for you is unchangeable it is beyond comprehension amen amen and again you cannot experience the love of god a very important point if you are not born again the love of god is there you need to be born again for you to experience it amen you need to be born again for you to do what to experience it but the love of god any eco in the entire humanity i'm not saying god doesn't love those who are not born again god loves everyone but for us to experience this fatherly love we have to accept that indeed christ is our friend because he died for our sins and uh, as i conclude from today to embrace else i used to want to praise god as our father and to know ujue ya kwamba in everything that you do in every situation that you go through god loves you so much god cares for you god has his best interest for you in heart and god wants to give you a future and hope god wants to give you long life god wants to give you the best the best the best that you can ever get in this life amen amen that's that god does what god wants to give us the best so tunapotoka hapa siku ya leo if you have children you are a parent know that god wants for your children children hata kwa wachuku god loves them and god wants the best the best and the best for them and god thinks of you very highly and akupenda sana so from today never look down on yourself never think ne- never think that i'm not worthy always know regardless of whatever is happening around me regardless of what is happening even in the world god has the best for you i want us to stand nataka tusimame and um when he started we told god to speak to us and um i know god is so faithful because he is our father and maybe this moment I just want us to tell God thank you for loving us. I want us to lift our voices to him and just bless his name for his love and for his faithfulness in our lives and in our church. I want us to tell God that thank you Father for loving me so much. For loving me this big that I can experience your love regardless of where I am. regardless of what i am going through regardless of, of who i am with regardless of what people think about me i can experience your love and you love me like a father right
thank you and I bless your name. Thank you for your love upon my life. Thank you for your love upon my family. Thank you for your love upon my children. Thank you for your love even upon my friends. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we worship your name for this great love, my Father. And this day, Lord, we pray the Lord, King of all the glory. We will embrace your love. We will abound in your love, my Father. Your love that, that leads to, to righteousness. Your love that leads to holiness. Your love that leads to the good things. Your love that leads to hope and future. Your love that leads to prosperity. Your love that can transform our lives. Your love that can change our lives. Your love that can change our families. Your love that can transform our lives and the lives of our children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you.